Hello guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I will be sharing with you a profitable strategy and a particular candlestick pattern that will help you overcome your loss in the market, if you understand and use it correctly. As a trader, you have seen something like price is on downtrend and on you joining the trend price reverse and took you out or changed direction. Please stay to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you in details how to use this strategy. This strategy that I'm about to share with you works in all financial market like indices, stock, forex and crypto. But before we go into the video, please use some of your time to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. So without any delays, let's start. This strategy that I'm discussing with you properly work on lower time frame, 15 minutes and 5 minutes down. And this strategy is based on a candlestick pattern called inside bar and exponential moving average. So an inside bar is common candlestick pattern which is popularly identifies as reversal or continuation candle formation that only requires two candles to present itself. This pattern is a direct play on short term market sentiment looking to enter before the big moves that may take place in the market. The inside bar shows a reluctance of prices to progress above or below the preceding candle high and low indicating market indecision. The inside bar pattern consists of two candlesticks and has the following characteristics. The first candlestick has a tall body and is called the mother bar. The second candlestick has a smaller body and is called the baby or inside bar. The second candlestick must close within the body of the mother bar. Inside bar is opposite of engulfing pattern. Let's see in examples how you can enter a trade using inside bar. Seeing that price is on an uptrend and you identify a bullish inside bar you can open a position setting your stop loss to the previous low and setting your take profit to the next high. As you can see we capitalized on the trade. This inside bar candlestick pattern can serve as an entry confirmation when you know how to read it well. And I can tell you that in any market trend, if you check well, you are going to see inside bar. Inside bar is so confusing that if it didn't meet its necessary criteria, it might make you enter a false trade. For instance, you saw this strong upper trend and also with these bearish inside bar that formed. And if you have taken a short trade here, it will result in loss because it did not meet the necessary criteria for short. Also looking at your chart, you saw that price was in downtrend and you also saw a bullish inside bar. And looking at your left to see what price has been creating, you notice that price has just bounced on a resistance, giving you more confluence that can make you enter a sell position setting your stop loss above the resistance and you'll take profit to the next low. As you can see, we capitalized on this trade. For proper use of the inside bar, you need to see if it is rejecting a trend line or bouncing of a support or resistance. As you can see, using only inside bar without any confluences can provide many false signal. Inside bar respect confluences, this is when we apply the exponential moving average. To add this indicator on our chart, we navigate to the indicator search bar. There we are going to search for EMA. Select the moving average exponential made by TradingView. Click on this one to add it to your chart. To set the indicator, let's go to the indicator setting. On the input setting, we set the length to 100 and leave other setting to default. Then go to style, set the color to any color of your choice, but here we are going to use yellow for more visibility in the chart. In this strategy, the moving average exponential will be used as a confluence and also point of interest. And also when price is in uptrend, the moving average exponential will be below the candle and when price is in downtrend, the moving average exponential will be above the candle. Looking at the chart, you can see that the moving average exponential also serve as a dynamic support and resistance to the price. For example, you see that the moving average exponential was serving as support to price and suddenly it has break it, which turned the moving average exponential from support to resistance, 
and on rejection to the resistance you enter a trade, setting your stop loss above the resistance and your take profit to the next low. Understanding on how the moving average exponential works. Let's talk on how you can combine the inside bar and the moving average exponential to enter a trade. Here is on XRP USDT on 15 minutes time frame. Looking at chart you see that price has recently break a support which has turned to resistance and on looking at the moving average exponential it is above the candle. And also as you can see price is rejecting on the moving average exponential. Remember that the moving average exponential serve as dynamic support and resistance. And as you can see price is bouncing on moving average exponential as the resistance and if you look left on chart you can see that the place where the price is is a resistance giving us more confluence that price will go down. On checking well you can see that price is presenting us with an inside bar telling us that price is ready to go down. Then we can enter a trade setting our stop loss above the resistance and our take profit to the next low. As you can see we capitalize on this trade. Let's look at another example. Here on our chart we can see that price is in uptrend and looking at the moving average exponential you notice that it is trading below the candle. And looking left we see that price is trading above a support and when price has came back to reject the support. And on the same time bouncing support it bounced on the exponential giving us more confluence that price is ready to move up. And on looking closely you can see that after the bounce that price has formed an inside bar helping us to confirm the trade. Then we can enter a trade setting our stop loss below the support and our take profit to the next high. As you can see we capitalize on this trade. As we have come to the end of the video, if you have any questions, leave it on the comment section, we will be glad to answer them. And also remember to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, see you on our next video.